Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do this simple landscape in charcoal, this moonlight scene. And most of my landscapes are pretty detailed, but this time I wanted to do something slightly different with more of these vague abstract shapes, something done in a slightly more loose style where I would mostly draw suggestions of shapes and details rather than try to define every single detail. So I hope you'll like it and I'm going to show you the drawing process. Let's get to it. Now I'm going to start with a bit of sketching using a piece of willow charcoal. The line of the trees is going to be about two-fifths above uh, the, uh, below the top of the paper and the line of the water is going to be about half that it's going to be, I don't know, maybe uh, about a third of the height of the paper, a little bit less. Now the second step for me is to decide where the moon will be. I was kind of thinking about moving it to the side, but I decided to put it in the middle. After that, I'm going to put down some charcoal powder and I'm going to start blending with my brush. I created this charcoal powder by sharpening one of my pencils and it works just as well as the regular charcoal powder. I'm just moving it around gently trying to blend a little more evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be drawing some clouds over it but even though I could erase the shape of the moon later because I wanted to appear bright and shiny I decided to leave that space white so that it would be easier for me to clean it up if I accidentally push, uh, push some charcoal dust onto it. Now I'm going to draw some suggestions of clouds I'm going to put just a little bit of willow charcoal in some areas of the sky and even though this looks a little bit darker now it's going to get lighter and more vague and fluffy as I work on it with a brush but I'm not going to leave it like that because that moon is a light source so the clouds are going to be interacting with it and some parts of those clouds are going to be catching more light from the light source so here around this lower edge they're going to be considerably brighter. And I'm going to pull some lighter edges here as well. trying to make them trying to make these clouds look a bit more three-dimensional by adding the light side to them we're going to have some more clouds here below the moon these are going to be a little bit lighter And uh, I'm using a pencil eraser for this. This is a Kohino pencil eraser. You can also use a kneaded eraser, but this gives you a bit more precision if you want to draw some finer lines. And you can also drag it and use it to shade, basically creating lighter areas of lighter value, kind of like you would with a pencil except that you create areas of lighter value rather than darker value. Here to the right I drew some suggestions of mountains or hills in the distance and I softened these a little bit, I softened their texture a little bit with a brush but notice how I kept that upper edge fairly clean so I want that upper edge to stay a bit more defined against the background of the sky. I'm going to try to add some more mountains 
in the distance, which are even further back. And after that, I'm going to move on with some elements which are a little bit closer to the foreground. I'm going to draw some trees here to the left and I'm going to be using a piece of willow charcoal for the most part. So in addition to charcoal powder and willow charcoal I also use the pencil eraser but in addition to that I'm also going to be using a charcoal pencil. I soften this a little bit with a brush and now I'm going to draw some more shapes of trees next to this next to this one. Not really too happy uh, with the way they look now I kind of tried experimenting with drawing the the tree trunk a little bit not sure if I'm going to keep that at this point but uh, I'm just going to draw some more trees here I'm going to vary their size a little bit. Some of them are going to appear a little bit taller, others a little bit smaller, depending on how far they are from our viewpoint. So at the bottom I'm also going to have some suggestions of some smaller shapes, like maybe some bushes or maybe some smaller trees, it doesn't really matter. Here in the middle I'm also going to draw some suggestions of bushes. Notice how much more I'm using the this piece of willow charcoal. I am drawing some smaller details, but um, willow charcoal allows you to work a lot faster and you have a bit less control over it because it's messier, unlike the char unlike charcoal pencils. And you'll notice that in this particular landscape, I'm going to be using my charcoal pencils quite a bit less than I normally do because like I said it's because of the the nature of this landscape that I'm trying to draw uh, trying to draw here it's going to be done in a slightly looser style but we still do have some fairly defined details like those clouds and now here to the right I added uh, like a uh, a group of branches and uh, clusters of needles which are popping into the frame from the right. I like those sorts of details uh, because they give you an idea that there are some trees which are closer to the foreground and uh, details like that allow you to balance out your composition a little bit. They also allow you to create more depth in your scene because uh, they appear as objects in the foreground and they allow you to push some of the elements in the background a little bit further back. So achieving that feeling of depth is one of the most important goals when drawing uh, a landscape in my opinion. You have to organize your composition or you have to organize your elements so that you suggest that depth and distance to the viewer so, so that you give them that illusion of depth. In this middle portion of the drawing I'm just going to use my willow charcoal again and make this darker, blend it until I decide what to do with it. Now here I actually picked up my charcoal pencil and decided to make some suggestions of some darker shapes here and there to see what I can come up with. Now the charcoal from the charcoal pencil is a bit darker because it's compressed charcoal and it also sticks to the surface of the paper a little bit better than uh, willow charcoal or vine charcoal does. Willow charcoal uh, and vine charcoal for that matter is more easily moved, it's easily manipulated. Um, that's not really the case with these uh, with the charcoal from charcoal pencils, with the compressed charcoal from charcoal pencils. Um, so now I just have some 
vague shapes and this gray area in the middle. I'm going to draw some darker trees here to the right because I want these to appear like they're catching less light from the light source, like they're more in the shadow, further away from the light source. And uh, I also want this contrast to allow me to push uh, the, the objects in the back a little bit further to create that feeling of distance. Here I actually use my pencil eraser to draw a small path which is leading to the river. So it's like a small trodden dirt path which leads to the river, to the river bank. Here I decided to add, it, add some darker details to this mid-ground area by creating some suggestions of clumps of grass here and there more or less randomly. So these are just some clumps of grass, of slightly taller grass, which are facing away from the light source and therefore they're a little bit darker. Again, I'm drawing this in a loose style, so I'm not going to bother with the details too much. Now I'm dabbing on that with my finger. And I do sometimes blend with my finger when I draw in charcoal, but not when I draw smaller details. But here I'm just going to try to see if I can come up with some, with an illusion of details just by dabbing these areas of darker value with my finger and maybe creating some suggestions of some irregularities in the terrain, some um, um, suggestions of, of variation in the length of the grass, the shape of the terrain, and things like that. So the terrain is starting to look a bit more interesting and um, I'll just... The, the good thing about this is that you can leave these vague shapes and these uh, suggestions of shapes and details, you can uh, leave the interpretation to the viewer. I also added some suggestions of lighter shapes here and there using a pencil eraser, but I'm not going to overdo it because I'm not trying to make this too detailed. I kind of like it the way it is now. Uh, what I will try to make a little bit more detailed is this path in the middle, because it's catching some light from that moonlight and it's, it's also in the middle, so it's going to be grabbing some focus. And maybe I'm going to make that just a bit more detailed than the rest of the scene. The grass and the bushes and the trees, I'm going to leave those pretty dark and uh, dark vague shapes in the distance. But uh, with the path here, I want to make it look like it has a very irregular shape, maybe the, it's partly overgrown in grass and, uh, and maybe just a little bit more grass here and there around it just to create that um, idea that, that there's grass, pretty tall grass growing on both sides. Now for the for the river, I'm just gonna use my willow charcoal again to establish that base stone to add a bit more value, a considerably larger amount of value here. To the to the side on the left and right, I'm gonna add a bit more value using my charcoal pencil because I want that to be a bit darker because that part of the water is reflecting some of the darker shapes and darker objects above the water. So when you draw these reflections, they don't have to be perfect, but what you want to do is uh, you want to make it look like uh, the image in the water, the reflected image, uh, is roughly similar to the image above the water, at least in terms of the overall amount of value in different places. And the shape is going to be distorted anyway because of the ripples and the movement of the water. So you don't have to worry about that anyway. Now as for the reflection of the moonlight, it's going to be stretching 
across the surface of the water all the way to our viewpoint and that reflection too is going to be distorted so I'm going to draw it like a bunch of um, uh, wiggly lines some of them a little bit wider than the others and kind of getting wider here near the bottom you can see how nicely I've managed to clean up that reflection using just that pencil eraser and the reason why I was able to do that was because uh, that middle area was mostly covered with a little bit of willow charcoal which is easily moved and more easily erased on the sides I had some uh, charcoal from my charcoal pencil that would be a little bit more difficult to erase it could be erased but it would not be quite as bright now I have a really bright reflection and that really gives the viewer the suggestion like they're looking at a reflective surface of the water and here, here in the foreground I drew some blades of tall grass and reeds and things like that something that you would find find near the the bank of a river and I also drew some lighter blades of grass but uh, I don't really have to do too much to it this is about as detailed as I as I want to make it just made this corner to the right a little bit darker so that I can put my signature there and I'm going to draw my signature with my pencil eraser and there it is a slightly smaller less detailed drawing fairly simple but I hope you like it anyway if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe and give me a like and comment check out my other videos for longer videos more content you should check out my patreon thank you for watching this one and I'm going to see you in the next one bye for now